country club for a long time, and I did the grill. Yeah. That's, I did the griddle. That this doesn't is surprise me. Everything was there, and we only had a, a flat top grill, so we did. We did our burgers. We did everything on it, and I absolutely loved it. Well, Look Kelly's at here. Kelly Deidring is here. <laughs> Good morning. Look at the workspace you have here. In fact, I love this it. is an 18 by 14 over the oversized uh, cook service for family sized meals. It's easy to clean, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite breakfast tool ever is this griddle. Look I, at this. So if you ever go Eggs. to the diner, you know where you go to the diner yeah. and they're cooking on the big cowboy grill griddle and you're like, oh man, it, I mean, everything just tastes so good Yummy. because they have that huge, massive open workspace. I have never seen a grill griddle that is this type of, you know, size. Yeah. It's nonstick, by the way, it's dash. Um, so you can, everybody can eat all at the same time, which I love because I'm so sick and tired of you getting to eat, somebody right. else getting to eat. Everybody's eating because it's hot, but then by the time the chef gets to eat, you're eating alone, right? Yeah. Because you have like a little nine inch fry pan. This is $34.95 I mean, today. It's Do you crazy. believe it? This is, this is half price again. It was $70. Now it's down to $35 with only $5 shipping. You will add, look, it sticks to the spatula, <laughs> it but it won't to the stick spatula, to the, but it doesn't stick stick to the, to the grill. grill. And by the way, all you do, like in a traditional grill, you'd scrape it down, down to the and front. you're good to go. Yep. Look, you've got your bacon cooked there. Well, you oh also have the little drip tray down front right here. Yeah, so, so all your drippings, your oil and everything, it's not going to sit and soak up all the oil. Yum. You press it right down to the front. It drips into the tray. So all you have at the end is to wipe it clean and get rid of that drip tray. Uh, you know, pour it out, save the fat, whatever you want to do with it. But I've never seen a griddle this size. In my no. opinion, and I'm going to shop a lot today. Right. I'm a big clearance shopper. This is probably probably one of the best buys of the day. Because, I mean, to, to get a griddle dollars. this size, you're talking $70, $80. Oh, my God. And I've never even seen them this size. No. I mean, you are going to absolutely love being able to do dozens of pancakes. Oh you, if God. you wanted to load this up with bacon, now, at the end of no, the day, you, you don't... Do, you could do two pounds of bacon on there easy. Oh, easily. Yeah. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. And then I'm going to wipe it clean, because I do want to show you. This is Dash. So everything is our True Glide nonstick. It's all proprietary technology. But all you have to do, if you have any kind of natural oils or juices that are sticking to it or maybe you'd put a sauce on it that's sticking a little bit all you have to do is literally if there's excess you can see I'm sort of pressing that down to the front there and all I have to do is wipe it clean and it looks as if it just came out of the box it's that non-stick it's that easy to clean look at that and, and then and all we do I just put, put it on because I know you're going to be doing some stir fry Thank let's you, go sir. over to our steaks and you look at how beautiful our steaks are here okay and they're I mean they're cooked perfectly and they're browned evenly look at this on both sides, look at how perfect they are. And this gives you an idea of the even heat distribution of this grill. I notice that every steak is identical gorgeous? in how it's browned, right? That's because that element goes through the entire bottom of this. Easy to clean, wipe it down. If there's any fat or grease, it, it goes out the back side. We have an adjustable thermostat, so yep. you know if you're doing steaks and things like that, you, you obviously that exact precise you want it really high. Control. Yes. Look at that. I mean, so how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steaks, my friends. But this yeah. could be a dozen or 15 burgers. This could be all your bacon. You could be doing sort of barbecued chicken. or You can even put this into the keep warm position to keep your food warm oh, yeah. throughout your party, throughout, you know... <laughs> Look at you throwing the steaks. Okay, but look at how he's just wiping that clean. And show the cloth. I mean, oh. everything just comes right off as you wipe it clean. Look it's that, that nonstick. And you're ready to go again. You're ready to start frying. I'm going to keep this up on high because we can do other stuff here. We can't. I'm going to do a little stir fry. Yeah, I, this is a little, um, a little uh, p um, what is this? Sesame oil, excuse me. Because Yummy. Sesame oil for, for flavor is yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. with your stir fries. Yeah. Now, you don't need an oil. Okay, so we're just doing this one for flavor. We want some but, flavor there. Yeah, we want some flavor. So let's pop our shrimp on there. You can actually hear them sizzling, you guys. And then all of our vegetables. So this is the best way to do a stir fry because now you don't have to get out all the different pots, all the different pans. You can do everything all together all at once. And then everybody eats all together and everybody right. eats all at once. And we just turned once. this up. We had it. We had actually turned it off because we don't want to burn our pancakes. Yeah, but you but can hear it. I mean, you'll watch. It'll yeah. start to sizzle up. It only takes about a minute or so. And, and then let's you got pop your our rice, rice on Look there for a little fried rice, you guys. Yeah. Best way to do your stir fries, best way to do your breakfast, your omelets, your pancakes, um, you know, Whatever it is that you want to do in the morning, you yeah. can use this for uh, for lunch, great that, lunches. Let yeah, let's thing. let it go. Okay. All right, so we got our steaks, my yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then we got a little Hawaiian chicken breast. <laughs> Look at you. I never have to work when Guy's here because he'll do I it all. I'll help you but out. But do you see that beautiful browning that we get? That 
sealing in of all the juices, oh, all yeah. the moisture that you look get. At our beautiful grilled pineapple. I mean, look at the so pineapple. Nice. Isn't that gorgeous? So oh my God. maybe it's a day where you don't necessarily want to go outdoors. It's hot. It's raining. It's cold. Whatever the reason is for not wanting to go outdoors, you don't always have to go outdoors to grill. Now you have an indoor grill griddle oh, that yeah. can serve an army. Here, we'll put these, you know what we'll do? We'll put them in towards the middle. And then well, we'll let's put, put our pineapple, pineapple on, on each top one. as well. And, and guys, uh, just so you know, there's there's pretty much no fat in this dish. We didn't have to put any on here. You don't have to add any fat or oil. You can add a little bit of that later. And look at how nice and look Kelly at how did that. Beautiful, and you she's going to scallion it up. And oh, you just made a, a perfect pretty. meal. And that's and, one, two, three, four, six full size chicken breast. We probably could have yeah. fit, fit and, eight or ten on there. And Kelly, how many pans do I have to clean up? One at the end. All you Kelly. have to do is take a wet rag oh, and wipe. Kelly. Actually, no pans. Look at right. That's yeah. zero pans. There's my one clean. wipe clean. I'm tilt it so you can see that. Isn't that crazy? That's what I just cooked all that chicken on. Do you see how clean that cooking surface is? All right, 170 people have already picked this up. I'm telling you, even if you use this thing just once a month oh. uh, for big family get-togethers yep. or whatever, you'll love it. But boy, if you are a breakfast cook, I gotta tell you, moms and dads awesome out there, if breakfast. you make scrambled yep. eggs and stuff, and, and I don't know if we have any scrambled eggs, but if, if you make scrambled eggs and stuff like that for the kids, oh, it's, perfect. Um, it's ideal because you have a huge cooking surface here yep. uh, and you can do a lot of food at the same time. That's what makes it so ideal. You're gonna love it. All right, All right. Uh, let me tell everybody this is, this was 69. Yeah. They took $25 off. It is $34.95. It's only eleven dollars and change. And on it's Flex sixteen Bay. by eighteen. Is that what you said? If you're wondering Four, the size, it's a fourteen by eighteen. Fourteen Excuse by me. eighteen. Fourteen yeah. by eighteen. This is dash. It's all True Glide nonstick, so it's very, very easy to clean up. Eighteen and a half. It looks like by fourteen and three quarters, so almost by fifteen. You're talking countertop cooking like the cowboy griddle. When you go to those old-fashioned cafes, those restaurants, think about your paninis. Fifteen uh, hundred watts of power, which is great. You get the yeah. high, medium, low, and warm, and then the detachable probe. So if you wanted to pick this up and take this with you. Uh, yeah. somewhere. You and even if you burn one like, like I did, don't that's worry okay. about it. We don't blame it. you. That's all right. You that's know not burnt. No. I would eat that. Now that's uh -huh. not burnt. That's perfect. Oh, no, that's a little, a little bit burnt. on the burnt side, but that's, I don't mind. I don't mind them crunchy like that. It doesn't bother me at all. But Look that's just because we, we left these on. But, but even if you burn, yeah, I don't but know. But think about, about this as well. So what was that? Eight grilled cheese sandwiches and our entire pot of tomato soup. You can actually set pots on top of here as well. So maybe you want to do a little fondue, a little melty cheese. I mean, is that not, th with a pickle? Oh my gosh, with like a, a pickle spear? A dill did. pickle spear? Yeah. Is that gorgeous? I bet, I bet everybody in the control room wish they had that. I bet they do. Well, oh, Kyle's guys. probably looking. I think I, I might, that might be my breakfast. A little tomato soup with your, but look at how you're able to even put any sort of pot, a casserole dish, anything that would go in the oven, you can keep warm on here as well. So whether it's a big old thing of nachos and some dip on the side, or you have all your meatballs and you want to put the red sauce and keep the red sauce warming, you have the capacity. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. Is that amazing? I just dunked the grilled cheese and in the a, tomato. I know. There's but, nothing you know, wrong with that. Nobody's of, saying there's anything wrong with that. We look do this that. in restaurants. We take we put it right yep. on we put it on the put flat it top. Right on the flat top. Because it's a big burner. Yep. Holy mackerel. Is that not good? So any yeah. you know, anything that would go on your traditional stovetop, now you have that 14 by 18 cooking surface with that dash true glide nonstick. We've got a couple of, of spots here of the of the actual mm. burnt cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's just show you. All you have to do at the end is take mm. a, a, a wet rag and wipe it clean. You could even push it down forward. So if you're just joining us, you even have the little crumb tray or you know the oil tray, the fat tray, whatever you want to call it, and it just pulls right out. So all you have to do is just remove that and then pop it back in. It's very easy to use. You have all the settings in that removable probe. So if you wanted to keep it on warm yeah. or you're just keeping your food warm throughout your party, throughout your gathering, you can do that as well. But you can also go all the way up to high and get that beautiful look sear at, and that beautiful look sizzle. Look how nice these sausages. I, I just turned these over, but let me turn these ones for you because you can see we just flipped them. Look at how nice. <coughs> I'm getting a little smoke in my own. Look at how nice the browning is here. Isn't that beautiful? On these and I'll turn them for you and you'll be able to see we'll get that overhead shot in a sec and look at how perfectly they're all cooked right and you see I, what i love is that you know a lot of these um girls like this they you only get a you get a, an element in the middle 
So only stuff in the middle cooks. And then you put the cooler stuff on the outside. This entire surface is hot. That's what you want because you want everything to cook equally. I don't I don't want to have to move my food all over the place. Oh, sausage like, and peppers. These peppers are perfectly cooked. With a little provolone. I mean, oh can gosh, you imagine really? doing this? And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and several peppers that you're getting as well. So you have the capacity now to cook for, you know, all your friends and family. Oh, yeah. But if you don't want <laughs> that bun <laughs> is a little sad. Look later. at our sausage is way to, bigger we don't than have our to bun. Serve them all up. Did you get an idea yeah. of what you can do here? Uh, and by the way, uh, you know, just like with any uh, fry pan, saute pan, yep. you can cook pretty much anything. You can yep. do the stir fries. You can do, uh, you can do like even fry. Hey, listen, you do flat top fried chicken. I've done that before. Yeah. A little bit of oil, yes. and you can bread your chicken. It's yep. actually a nice way to do it. Or like Brussels sprouts, if you want to do like yeah, a little yeah, pan yeah. fry, or even like fried green tomatoes, fried pickles. All that Anything stuff. that's that flat, you don't now have to get out a big old deep fryer no, 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 to do it. it. You easy. can absolutely do it right on your countertop. And by the way, it's very thin, so if you want to store it upright you could absolutely slide it in almost like a tray type sure. of style if you have the tray cabinets it'll fit right inside there as well so dash does a nice job because guy you don't actually have to put oil down here if you don't want to in terms of using you know for non-stick right it's these are all natural oils and natural juices so you don't have to add calories now well, sausage I always, has fat there's yeah, no reason to put fat on I always like to there. add a little sesame oil or something for flavor sure. but you are not required to just look at how it wipes clean you guys it's like it's brand new it just That's came out of the box unbelievable and it's all right here on my rag and look at how clean and that is. And this will season after you use it over and oh, over absolutely. and over. It gets better and better and better as you use it. Isn't that nice? Um, but it does make life nice and simple. And then, and then again, clean up is just wipe it down. Mm -hmm. um, you can remove this and, and wash that down, put it back on, and just wipe the machine and down. That's all you need to do. look at for like your yeah, flat bread. Yeah, browning. Or even like um, warming your pizza, you guys, you, so it's not all soggy. It's all crispy and crunchy and beautiful. So if you wanted to do, this is uh, five flatbreads, five full-size flatbreads. It's totally up to you. The sky is the limit. Um, you could do your garlic bread on here. Mm. Uh, what are you tossing around over there, my friend? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not eating anything. He's double dipping. And a, like, how about a little balsamic right here? Man, so a little, look at you. A little caprese a little flatbread. Or here. how? about a little, a little pesto. pesto you guys yeah. so that you do whatever you want you know I mean this is just one of those tools that makes life easier in the kitchen and you have now the space you have now the capacity and then you still get that beautiful crunch on your flatbread and yeah. it, it really just does a very nice job makes life so much easier and Isn't then you can just up, wipe man. it clean I mean that that's yeah. ridiculous that nice? stuff let me say again uh, what we're doing today. So it's $25 off. The shipping's only five bucks. It's $11.65. Come on, follow us over. You I just wanted to open up dunk. one of these. I'm gonna go no, over here. No, I was gonna open one up. Go ahead, you do what you want. I'm I mean, gonna go, yeah, show that. Look at this grilled cheese, you guys. Yeah, Imagine nice. that were a Reuben. Or, I mean, look at how ooey, how gooey, how cheesy. Boing. Boing. <laughs> Can you, I mean, I'm gonna eat, that's my, <laughs> that's a good breakfast actually right there. But you now me? you're able to do that's that. If, even if you're just doing two grilled cheeses, one for you, one for the grandchild, you can get this out and go ahead and do it on there because right. you have the, uh, the I'm gonna go, to. I'm gonna go over here and work and on your stir, stir fry. fry yeah, friend. we got our stir fry going here. And this is, this is the point at which you would mix everything mm -hmm. together. If you got one of them big spatulas, that's great too. Um, Kelly will add whatever seasoning we want to add to this. We'll add a little soy sauce. Yeah, go ahead. And again, this is a nice big meal. And look at, I mean, look at the caramelization and, the, and the, like the browning on the shrimp and the, I mean, it does a very good job. So rather than getting out the tiny little nine or 10 inch fry pan yeah. and only being able to serve a handful of people, really, you could serve, you know, 15 people if you wanted to. i here. It makes my life a little bit easier. All right, you want to just pour it on in there too whenever you're ready. Yeah, maybe I'll just scoop it. Good? Yeah, I'll scoop. Boop. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, man? it's really nice. And uh, and you're going to love this. And it's, you know, and if you think you can't do this at home, you're crazy. You can. It's, <laughs> it's so simple. easy. Yeah. All you have to do is get the fresh veggies. You know what? Sometimes I'll cheat and I'll just buy them already pre-chopped. So all you have to do is get a little bit of that oil, your shrimp from the seafood counter, or if you want to do a little protein like chicken or something like that, yeah, you can do you that want. on there as well. Let's add some more. Want to, want to? Whatever you want to do. But I'll show you. You can clean. You can, yeah. So then you can just add more if you wanted to do a vegetarian stir fry after that. Uh, and you can as well. Or have it an egg and do some fried rice. Yeah, you can do. And, and not only that, it's fun. This is fun cooking. I mean, you're doing family style stuff oh, here. Wow. Add a little bit of oil. There you go. It's perfect. That's all you need to do. And then you're just, you're a hibachi chef, man. That's what you are. This is actually just like. Well, have you been to the hibachi big... places where you go and, yeah, and you, you fill up your bowl with the raw veggies and the raw protein, right? And you mm -hmm. stand in line and you go to the end of the line and they have Good the hibachi. Stuff.
Texas style grill, yeah. and they're grilling it for you. And you're paying extra basically to prepare your own food. You know what exactly. I mean? I know. You're paying extra to choose it all yourself, and you, you go up there with your little bowl. Now you can actually do it at home. So prepare and have those sort of events. With your friends and family, everybody can get their bowl, everybody can get their veg, everybody can go oh, yeah. right down to the cowboy griddle at the end and cook their own food. So that's yeah. a nice way to do it too. And I'll, uh, I'll cut up some steaks so you can see. We cooked these steaks earlier and we let them rest a little bit. I'll get that spinach out of there. So you're wondering, um, you know, does this, how does this cook? Well, I will show you how it cooks. It cooks absolutely perfectly. And this is this is just done on our little flat top griddle and you'll see how perfect that steak is, medium rare. Remember, let your steaks kind of sit for a little bit afterwards. You gotta let them rest so all that good juice can go back inside. But look, at this is a perfectly cooked steak. Not gorgeous. Very ideal. And we did. But it's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. We did full a whole steaks. bunch of them. <laughs> all right, good job, Kelly. All right, this is $34.95. Right, Kelly is coming back. A little bit later, three I think, around this afternoon. Yep, 3 o'clock. Thank you, Kelly. All right, my friend. All right, so continue to grab this. Also available. If